and amen. amen. And when it comes to prayer, I will always hold hands and hold. But Robin, this is not a Bible study program. This is not a um, Y'all ready? sorority. Y'all ready? I'm sorry. This Y'all is ready? a model competition. The prayer circle was the last straw that sent Elise running to the confessional, where she let loose on her housemates and Miss J as well. Robin, how dare you show me that foolish is the atheist Bible verse this morning and ask me, what do I think of it? What am I supposed to think of it? You know what I think of you? Foolish is a woman who believes that tripe. Giselle, you worthless. You are so wasteful, bitchy, stupid. You're worthless. Your parents must be ashamed of you. Jay, you offended me today. I know the medical school is hard work. How could I possibly not be aware of that? And secondly, how dare you imply that I'm uppity because I want to be a lifesaver and you don't. It takes a mask to cover every seat. Slice. What else? Katie, I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. You're the most insincere person I've ever met. Let me die. You are... You bitches. Bianca from Cycle 9 was known for her snappy comebacks. Cleopatra got a bit of an attitude. And this normal conversation with Celicia turned into a barrage of them. I've been wanting to model since I was 15. Like, I've, I've been doing it since I was 15. I've worked, cramped, run, and did it all. So, like, I have no experience. So the girls and I were, like, lounging around one day, and we started talking about, you know, work experience. And Celicia had mentioned that she had done some work in the past. So I just kept saying, you know, well, why are you here, you know? Yeah, I have worked, and I've had done things. But these photographers and people, they don't tell you anything. They just put you in front of a camera. But well, obviously, I had to go along, and you had they, that. They you know, up her hand on a lot of I'm going to be real with myself. Honestly, it's a competition. I don't care who attacked me. I'm here to win, and I'm, I probably will. It shouldn't even intimidate y'all. That should just make y'all work harder. So, Celicia got really hostile, and she stood on the bed, and she said, you know what? I'm going to win, and I don't have to explain myself to anybody. Honestly, I don't feel that you're my competition. And I don't feel that you're my competition. You your body size is not better than me. You're borderline plus size. I got really defensive, and I stood up and I said, you know what? I don't care because you know you're not gonna win. You know. Oh, she did. <laughs> Ma, we are equally. Ma, my head is big dog. For real, you look like a brat skull. Let Mama, look at you. Your mouth ain't gonna get you in the mouth. My mouth can get me anywhere. My mouth can get me anywhere. My mouth can get me anywhere. You think something's so? sitting on your toe? You think so? on your toe? Please. I'm a grown ass woman. Sit. Check your thighs in the mirror and I'm done. You know how many people come up to me and say, I want to put that on a shirt. Cycle 5's Lisa was always one to offer advice to the other girls, whether they wanted it or not. One day at a photo shoot, Corinne finally decided she'd had enough. You need to stop hating on people, especially me. What? Are you, are you saying this? Oh my goodness, okay, I'm done with you. Forget it. Okay. Right. Now I'm the only one that told you to your face that I do not like you, okay? okay? Well, then that's I'm really not, sad. I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Oh my goodness. Don't go over there and talk about it. If you want to talk about something, talk Wait, about it. Shut up. Why are you still talking to me? Shut up. Okay, well, yes, I did not like you. Okay. I told you that then, a long time ago. Then don't, no. then don't, don't talk like about you. me. That is so rude. Grow up, Corinne. You're right, basically presenting yourself like a moron, okay? And what are you doing, alcoholic bitch? To me, I just thought it was a clash of personalities, and I was just like, listen, this makes good TV time, guys. <laughs> Keep it up. But the cast fight to end all was Cycle 3's epic battle between Eva and Amanda. Or was it Amanda and Anne? Or Jennifer and Eva? Oh, uh, let's just roll the tape. Okay, my crystals are missing. Has anybody seen my crystals? What crystals? The showdown started with me. Amanda accused me of stealing crystals. I'm a black woman from Los Angeles. What the heck am I going to do with crystals? I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Oh, okay. Excuse me, you just walked into me. You know that, right? It's an accident. I'm just saying, just whatever yeah. you're mad about, don't be mad. Well, like, yeah, I've good. got a, you know, a right to be upset when all... Well, you don't have a right to bump into me and not say excuse it me. And if you want me to start, then say excuse me. That's but the reason for the word. Like being excused. All right, it's on. Jennifer 
co-signed with her and said maybe she did take it. And so then they ganged up on Ann and I. My personality is so even. I'm just going to change your personality when you go in front of the judges. Why would I change my personality? You go up there and you get all this. Why don't you be the bitch diva that you're because in Because I'm cute. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I am. Hey, hey guys. Judges. Hey, guys. Can you just keep it a little more quiet by the phone? Sorry. Why don't you go around and ask every person how much well, why, don't you why don't you go around and ask I'm every digital. person? No, you don't. No, you, you don't. Change, you change your personality all day. So what, you're you two-faced. Like extremely. And I'm glad you said. Right. I'm not even trying to be rude, but like, to us, we see you. Like, to us. So to us. Okay. So it's us. Why don't you let her oh. talk? You know, Anne couldn't do anything without me. So that's what they started teasing. You're so codependent. You don't jump unless Eva says jump. And then she, that's when she's, I am Anne M.F. Markley. Started going all ballistic or whatever. No, it's me. I'm telling This is me. I'm Anne. I'm going to tell her what thinks so you could shut your mouth. This is what I said. You know what? I don't feel. Let me out of the way. Don't ever touch me again or else you get knocked out. Oh, I'd like to see it. Next thing I know, Jennifer, which is my homegirl, okay? She like, F this stuff, and she bumps Ann out the way. Like, she walks out the room and bumps Ann. And my face was like... I think Ann could have took Jen. Yeah, Jen was thick, but Ann would have wore Jen out. There you go again. See, I don't understand people. They be talking how hard they are. You see, somebody like me, I would have had a natural reaction. You're just not going to push me, and I'm just going to be like... Please tell Jennifer never to touch me again, because like I swear to God, I don't want to go and say something. No question about it. I think Jen's glad we stopped that fight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Were you the bitch? Were you the quiet one? I don't think I was a bit of everything. <laughs> I don't see you as my cop. Okay. But it was Cassie's messy habits that started Cycle 3's infamous Brownie Gate. Let's talk about when Ann wrote in Cassie's brownies. They're in the kitchen, Ann and Eva, you know, Bonnie and Clyde. They're mad at Cassie because she's not washing her dishes. Eva, I kept the dishes. So they decide that they're going to write in Cassie's brownies, wash your... Can you read that? Or yes. Yes. Cassie barely ate, let alone cook food, so or whatever. It happened because everyone was on edge. Who wrote this? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I see y'all had dinner. Oh, it's all me something. I don't know. Later that night at dinner, tempers flared when Anne was drawn into Yaya's trap. It's as faithful as Portuguese food. Mm -hmm. Respect. It's a big lack of it in the house, so I felt the need to wear it today. Respecto. Yaya had her Hispecto shirt on. Whatever, dude, it's not that deep. I just think that there's immaturity and respect in the house, and that was Why exactly. Is it immature? Why is it immature? Who writes in food? Who, who writes in food? Okay, well, I was going to say something too, anyways. Well, I did that today to be funny. It wasn't to be. I don't think it is. Don't touch myself because it's not funny to me. Clean your dishes. Don't be a pig. That's disgusting. Okay, well, don't touch your. I don't need you to tell me to wash my. I don't need you to put a knife in my brownie and like clean your. Don't ever touch my. 